What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Yanazai 88-rated Real Sociedad's storyline card. Obviously, these are all the level 30 cards that you can get. It's Yanazai, Desiglio, or Sessegnon. You've got, what, 88, 88, and 87. It all depends on what you need in your team. For me, Yanazai is nice, but if I am looking at someone who's going to go into my foot champs team, which, unfortunately, we have a lot of objective cards and a lot of storyline cards... By the time that you've got them, you've already got a better option. And, and that's always the case. So then I look towards the league, the nation. Obviously for Belgium, it's a cracking player. You can link, um, well you can't link, but you have got Hazard the other side. You've got Lukaku up top. Some very nice players there. Kevin De Bruyne. You've got a good, good little uh, Belgium kind of quad there. Or then you look at the league. For instance, La Liga. Unfortunately, if you are looking at an objectives, predominantly this year, everything has been in friendlies. So what comes with friendlies is that you can use any loan card at all. And obviously, you don't lose any matches. So unfortunately for him, during Team of the Year, we managed to get a Team of the Year loan Messi. So literally makes him obsolete. No one is going to be better at right wing than Messi's Team of the Year in La Liga. That's just fact. So Yanazai really is, is down to just, do you want a Belgium team? If the case, then yes, you would definitely pick this one. If you want an English team, to be honest, Sessegnon, not really going to cut it. Obviously, you've got Rashford there. You've got Sterling there. So many options already. Then you go to Bundesliga. You've got Coman, Gnabry. You've got Diaby. And then you go to Ligue 1, which obviously for me is the, the, the big answer. And obviously, De Siglio is the option I personally am going to pick. So we are happy that we've managed to get two other people that have chosen opposite ways. And we get to give them a good review. So without further ado, let me know down below who you pick or who you are going to pick in level 30. And in terms of Yanazai, then, we are going to be whacking an engine on him, which does give him 96 pace. He'll already have the 85 shooting because, for me, I'm just going to keep him as a, as a kind of an assisting right cam, right mid. If anything, he is left-footed, so he's got that nice little cut in. In terms of his traits, we've got outside of the foot shot, and we've also got flair. And then we have got, with the passing increase, it'll be 92 and 95 dribbling and kind of just breaking down each individual stat on its base pace wise great acceleration sprint speeds up there shooting's already got 87 finishing 88 attacking positioning so that's really good for a already base if you really wanted to go all the way up you could i suppose go with a hunter it would waste the shoot uh, the waste of pace but you would get more shooting out of it it'd be a 92 finishing with 97, uh, 97 finishing 92 shooting overall but i do think engine would be the way to go because that passing then turns into you've got 93 short pass 99 curve you'd have 99 crossing and 90 vision i think that is a very very vital stat card right there great agility balance you'd get 93 and 94 on them you'd get 99 dribbling you've already got 90 ball control and 84 composure and obviously he has got a four star four star so without further ado Let's have a look what this card can do in matches. You new side down a wing. What can we find from him? We've got a bit of pace from him. We're going to leave him. Gwenduzi's coming over. The cheeky what if objective. Fine. Ah, rubbish pass. Oh, we've got a bat though. Lovely La Croqueta. Presses it across. Let's it through his legs. Oh, it's a great come out from Edison. Finds Nuzay straight on the back. He's great at going for that behind the, uh, behind the defenders. Go past it. Oh, little finesse. Bang. Oh, Edison through the legs. Oh, nearly takes his hand off. You know, Zai coming in. Get the little one, two. It's through. Oh, it's a lovely spin. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Takes a couple of attempts, but we managed to get it in with you, Zai. Lovely coming. He's been a vital part of this attack in motion already. Oh, we find him down. He is absolutely sensational at getting in behind here. We can see someone coming over the other side. It's a cracking ball. Not the player that I was going for, but he manages to push it up to Roy Costa. You'll love to see it. You know, Zai. Clivert. In through. Oh, Furlan Mendy's going to get it back. You know, Zai. Skips past Bamba. 1 2. Oh, I thought he was going to go in. I should have went round Herrera with poor defending there if I did manage to go past him. One, two. You know, Zai. Oh. There it is. Ah, oh, fella, Mendy's in the way. I thought I managed to get through there. 
Yunuzai, lovely little bit of dribbling, and it's a cracking finesse, cutting inside with his left foot. I don't think you need a hunter on this card. He seems like he's got plenty of shooting to go around. Find him going past Fulan Mendy. One of the hardest defenders to try to go against. Going to cut inside. Ooh, Edison with the save. Yunuzai into Clivert. Can we see him coming back? It's coming across. Going with a finesse, and he's just... Oh, it's rolled it in. Clivert getting the offside goal. <laughs> Get it back into Yunuzai. Back again. Finesse. Hey, hat-trick hero. Back into him. Last few minutes of the game. What can we find? Clivert's going to push him in. He's going to push him in. He's going to pass it across. And it's Roy Costa to miss. Ansu Fati does the job. Oh, that's beautiful play. He makes the run down a wing. And it's a lovely cut inside. A little bit of a sweat goal. Lovely. And it's another. Bags two. You love to see it. You knew I was going to find in Clivert with a beautiful ball. But Boateng is on Clivert like an absolute rash in that scenario. Oh, Clivert with a volley. Yunus, I there we go. Get another goal. It's a beauty of a little sweat goal again. So if we're going into the overall for Yunus, I obviously he's a nice player. He's had a really good upgrade. Another plus eight player right now. Obviously he's not really had anything, and he's had kind of like this weird career that he's started at United, looked at a good prospect, didn't really make it too much. I feel like he it was in the era of I think where Manu were either I can't even remember when he was in it. If he was in it. During the good period or the bad. I want to say we've had about five, six years of bad period. Maybe even longer than that, to be honest. But then he kind of he kind of left. He went to Sunderland, I think, on loan. Then he shipped off to Dortmund, Real Sociedad, Sunderland. Then back to Real Sociedad again. Managed to get a... I think that was the first foot swaps. We managed to get two versions of him. And then we managed to get this card. So he's really not had that many specials. He got a bronze in form back in FIFA 14. Two foot swaps cards. And then he managed to get himself his storyline card. So unfortunately, he hasn't really had the career that he probably wanted. 16 games. Games, two goals, two assists so far this season. But the card is nice. Like, the card is nice. Four star, four star. Can't argue with that. Left footed, so nice on the cutting. Six one, so again, a tall, tall player. He's got outside of the foot and flare traits, which are also very nice. Medium low work rates. And then we do whack, I think it was the engine, weren't it? The engine, rather than the hunter, because the hunter would literally max out this. I just don't think he needs it. The The cutting with the finesse was actually really nice. It worked quite well. Obviously, he's got the, the agile side of it to an extent because he is 6'1", so he's quite a tall player. Feels like that. It's not bulky, but it's like kind of tall bulky. He's not like a, a, a messy with the low center of gravity. He's kind of taller. He gets to move quicker than normal, quicker than uh, the average, because he is more of a lean build than anything. Shooting was quite nice. Passing was brilliant. His link-up play with Clive and Roy Costa on that guy's team was was decent. Was, was decent. Nice stamina. Kept going the whole match. Obviously, can't complain about that. Overall, is a nice card. It's just unfortunate that he just is not. He's not viable as an option. If we look at, obviously, uh, right wings in La Liga, you've obviously got this guy right here. You've got Christian Tello, who was an SBC. I want to say that can go up to an 89 if he does score six goals in the next five. Porto's road to the final can go up. Beckham was a free card. Lorente, you wouldn't really play there anyway. So he has got a lot of competition there. In terms of Belgium, and this is where he really kind of shines, I believe, um, as obviously there is no other card there, unfortunately, for, for him. No, fortunately for him, because he does have a nice little counterpart. You've got Hazard, Carrasco on the other side. You've then got, obviously, Lukaku, Mertens up front if you really wanted to. Forgan Hazard has got a different card as well. And then you go into the midfield, you've got the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Witzel, Nain Golem, Dembele, special storyline card, Tillemans. So you could make a nice Belgium squad out of it um, if you was to kind of go with that, if no other options really fancied your choice. But you are going to get a nice card for me. He's only just a just above average. I feel like he's a nice card, but we've got so many other cards that can do the same and more, unfortunately, for him. Overall-wise, I'm giving him an 8.4 out of 10. Let me know down below who you are picking in your level 30 rewards, and I'll see you for the next one. Like and subscribe. Peace.